Sorry. Hello, everybody. I'm here at the Moritz House, this wonderful museum in The Hague in the Netherlands. And I have the great opportunity and privilege to uh, sketch in front of this wonderful Vermeer painting. Come on in and take a look at my sketch. It's taken me, uh, you know, 20 minutes, half hour, but it's wonderful just to uh, study these paintings and uh, learn from the composition and the way they're organized and the articulation of light. And as you can see, the title of this is Diana and the Nymphs. And um, um, it's a wonderful uh, composition, these kind of folding over of figures coming down to the main point where this woman's uh, having her feet uh, uh, bathed with a sponge. This woman's holding a little sponge here. And um, if you uh, look around, made famous in the novel and the um, and the movie. If you follow me over here. It's a really exquisite painting. I'll let you uh, look at the painting. A view of a Delft. Um, I haven't sketched this one yet, but it's a, it's a city in the Netherlands. It's just an exquisite painting. One of the wonderful things about this painting is the uh, light. You notice that most of the buildings in the foreground are in shadow, and there's just one small little. Uh, placement of light, wonderfully composed right there in the middle, so we can see some light on the uh, buildings in, in the background. And these wonderful figures articulated. Beautiful, look at the figures in the foreground. A few isolated figures. So, uh, and the softness of the, uh, the shadows, uh, the, the reflections in the buildings, so pan out again, if you would pan out to the full painting. So, uh, this one. <coughs> Oh, 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 oh,